Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Oklahoma Game Development's video review. I am Zachary Knight, the chief editor of Oklahoma Game Development, and today I have a brand new game from game developer Rocket Dad Games. This is a small team of developers who met up at Roger State University and they have made a handful of games since. And these guys made their start as game developers working under the name Lion Steel, but have moved on from that name now. The team is led by Josh, Josh Magard, and, and under his leadership, they have worked on a couple of Game Jam games, of which Now You See Me is the latest. So let's get started playing. So Now You See Me has been developed under the Game Boy Game Jam uh, number three, uh, sponsored by Game Jolt. And uh, the game is quite simple. You're a magician, and you gotta use your magic hat to steal people's money. It's actually pretty funny. So let's get started. Alright, so here's the tutorial level. Uh, the game gives you the option of going through this door and skipping the tutorial, and going through this door to continue on. So let's go ahead and play the tutorial just to give you an idea of how the game plays. So here we are, first one. Let's jump over this. this a door uh, it's locked me in now what am I supposed to do I can't get out so let's There we go. <laughs> Had a little trouble figuring that one out. So now we all jump down. And I can't get out of there. Now, so I've got to figure out what, how to get through. But, oh, money. This is always the fun part, is finding all the money in the level. So we've got a thousand dollars. This is a nice little checkpoint here. So we'll come on through and jump down like we did before. And now, can't jump up here, so let's try to use that hat. Now, the hat, uh, they don't give you the good, uh, what button to press, but, or well, they did up earlier. They, it would be nice to have a nice little reminder here to use the Z button or the, uh, or the K button. So let's jump up here. And there you go. You just gotta use that nice jump. It, the hat, when you go through the hat, it retains the momentum. It's kind of like Portal in how it's played. So let's come on down here and fetch. <laughs> and you'll notice that I just got caught by a guard. And when a guard catches you, you lose half the money that you've uh, picked up. See, there you go, you gotta use that hat to get by. And here's a switch to open that door. And now we gotta get back. And doing a checkpoint like that, you lose pistache and. I don't know how to say the word. But uh, you lose uh, some points and some money. But here we go, and we are done. That's the tutorial, everybody. Panache, that's the word I was thinking of. Now, if you get a thousand panache in a level, it doubles your, your cash score. And since I lost my panache, I don't get to keep it. I don't get to double my money. But, oh well. So, this being a Game Boy game, the game uh, is, is uh, limited to four colors. And these guys really use the colors very well. I, I really like the way they drew their sprites and the layout, everything. It looks like a, it's a really nice and polished look. And um, and the gameplay itself is great too because, you know, the Game Boy, you know, you get your directional pad, 
two uh, two action buttons and a start and select button. Now the game only uses uh, the enter, which would be your start button, and then Z and X and L and K, which is your A and B buttons. But that's just to kind of describe things. But here we go. This is the first official level. Now, the level description is you're in a neighborhood, and there's a cozy but wealthy neighborhood. The families are out for the night, and you should make the best of it. And there's $3,000 available for you to steal. Now, I'm not going to show you where all of it is, because I would like to leave something for you to discover yourself. So, we'll get through with right around 2000 unless I get caught by a guard. So... Here we go. All right, so that's our first seven hundred and fifty dollars. Now, I don't, there's a guard just on the other side of this door, so we're not going to through just yet. Now watch this. Ah, I screwed up. Ah. And I'm permanently stuck here. <laughs> I lost all my money. Oh no. See, what I was trying to do was use my hat to zip around behind the guard like that, but, uh, yeah, and then close the door on him, but, uh, that didn't work out. So up here, we'll get some money here, and, uh, we'll come on down here. up the stairs. See, this is one of the cool things. Is these guys thought of everything. And the, these houses look nice. The chests look nice. You know, the stair animation is great looking. Just look, look at that thing. You're going in and out. These guys thought of everything. This is a great looking game. And just look, the way that, uh, you know, your character poofs away and poofs back out. That is, you know, that's incredible. These guys just really made made the effects perfect for the way this game functions. So, there we go. That's the end of the first level. I made it through with only 1,200 bucks and no panache. I really hoped I would get some good panache for you there. Okay, so the next level, a lofty building filled with lots of offices and lots of money. Be aware, it's heavily patrolled and security has heard of your tricks. So, 8,000 possible dollars to gain here. Now, I have not actually gotten all of this money yet, so we'll get through uh, what, what I can, and uh, we'll see, uh, see how far I get. Alright, now this one, you really got to trick these guards, because there's just nothing you can do without tricking them. See, and on the, the other side of this door is a guard. So let's wait until he turns around. Ah! There I go, screwing things up again. See, there we go. That's what I was trying to do before. <laughs> See, now he's nice and locked away inside that, on the other side of that door. Now, the question is, how do you get back? Well, there's a nice little exit here. Now, on the other side of this door, I think, is another guard. So, let's sneak past him. And you notice that I've got 500 panache now. And this is... Ah. 
See, this is what's really tricky about this level, so let's skip all that. We'll let you discover all that yourself here. Now there's a guard up there, and I do not want to get caught by him. I don't know which side to go through. So let's hope him being over there is what I want. There. I didn't see any way out other than to jump out the window, which all it would do is take you to the end of this game. So what I'm going to do is, at this point, is I'm going to play the game over. I'm going to skip the tutorial, and we're going to go through that first level again, see if I can get the, uh, see if I can get the, um, we get the full score for that first level, uh, minus the secret stash of cash that I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna get uh, spoil you with. So let's check this out. So that's a uh, Josh Magard. He's the programmer. He did the music. Great soundtrack, by the way. And Dan Conveys. He did the art direction. So or the art design. So let's start this over and see. And we're gonna skip the tutorial, which will take us right to right to the first level. Three thousand available cash. We're not gonna get it all because I don't want to spoil. Now, learning to use the hat is a little tricky. You gotta get really used to using the the arrow keys and the, the hat button at the same time um, because honestly it took me a while to learn. I managed to And I totally screwed up that level. So much for teaching you guys and showing you guys how to get through it all without screwing up your panache. Uh. Alright, so let's try level two, see if we can get through, get some more cash on level two then. Who knows? Alright, here we go. Now, I have learned by t from talking to Josh that he is planning on on uh, he is planning on expanding on this game and would really like to make it a full game. And I am all for that. I think this would make an excellent game. And, uh, and I think it would do do really well um, in any capacity that uh, they want to make a full game. Because right now it's just these two levels, and there is just so much more to this game. Haha, I snuck past him. We got a thousand Nash there. That is great. Okay, this is the part where I got captured because I jumped too early. tricky part there. One 
try to do it. But now, I got this guard stuck in here. I don't know how I'm supposed to get past him once I've got him locked out. So, maybe I shouldn't have locked him <laughs> into the elevator room. Oh. Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to let you guys explore this level. Uh, I think in the grand scheme of things, comparing, you know, between this level and the previous level, I would probably place this one more as like a level four, or maybe, yeah, probably a level four. And a level three if you're, if, uh, you know, I probably, yeah, I probably wouldn't do a level three, but, uh, just, just my personal opinion, you know, because this one is relatively difficult. You, this is your first introduction to trampolines, and and they are in a very tricky spot. So I would say putting them in, putting uh, you know, at least one level between this one and the first level, so you can get an idea of how trampolines work in a little bit of a safer environment would be a great idea. So I think. I think that would be my idea, would be to put this as level 4, but, uh, but yeah, but it's up to, to Josh and Dan how they would like to, uh, you know, how they would like to do this, because, you know, it is their game, but that's just my input. But for now, you know, this was a great game, and I would love to see it expanded upon and made bigger, and, uh, and... It could be a very, very successful game if they wanted to sell this, you know, because a lot of people would pay for it. Um, so there you go. And that's uh, that's Rocket Dad Games with Josh McGard and Dan Conveys, and and I uh, hope to see more from these guys in the future. So uh, this is Zachary Knight from Oklahoma Game Development signing off. See you later.